Hi everybody and welcome to Astro Updates. This is Gretchen Heidel and I'm highlighting the week of April 22nd. Um, happy Earth Day it is Sunday, April 22nd. Um, how appropriate because we just had that lovely new moon um, in Taurus on Saturday the 20th. So sliding into Sunday on, on April 22nd, uh, we still have that Earth energy influence going on. A um, couple things on Sunday are going to be happening. One is Mercury is going to be conjunct with the planet of Uranus. Now that's going to be in Aries and that is very um, scattered kind of um, almost electric type of energy. Certainly it's good for new ideas and inspiration and things like that, but the bad side is is that um, it can be a little bit scattered and in fact can affect people that have um, issues or problems with the electric system of the body, such as palpitations or seizures or any kind of thing like that. So you might want to pre, um, you know, uh, protect yourself against that if you have those type of issues. Certainly anxiety could even be more present uh, during the weekend a little bit. Luckily we had that nice influence of the of the new moon in Taurus, which is grounding, but then you have Uranus um, and Mercury kind of stirring things up towards the end of the day on Sunday. Um, as we move into Monday, um, the sun is going to form a positive uh, trine with Mars. And that's going to be a part of a bigger uh, planetary um, uh, aspect where the Sun, Mars, and Pluto, all three are going to be forming a Grand Earth Trine. Um, and that will be taking place pretty much, it'll be in effect all of this week. So again, that's a highlight of all of the Earth uh, signs and Earth energy. So that's Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So if you're one of those signs, you're going to get an extra little boost this week, which is a nice thing. As we move into the week, uh, one of the a little bit more difficult planets, uh, planetary aspects that are going to be happening is when on Wednesday, uh, when Mercury forms a square with uh, Pluto, and that's going to be on Wednesday the 25th. Now, Mercury, you know, any aspect with Mercury and Pluto is not necessarily a very positive thing because um, watch for intense conversations and potential uh, people you know, kind of fighting back when you talk, um, I would just kind of let things um, rest uh, and, and let people just express themselves as they wish. Um, as we get into Saturday the 28th, the Sun will be forming a positive sextile with Chiron. Chiron is uh, not necessarily a planet, it's in the category of planetoid. Chiron, uh, mythology-wise, is associated with the wounded healer. So if you have issues that need to be healed, both on an emotional and uh, physical plane, sun, uh, Saturday the 28th will be actually a good day for that to happen. Um, so I hope that you enjoy your week. Thank you so much for continuing to check out my blog. Again, it's astro-updates.blogspot.com. And if you're interested in an astrological reading, or uh, Reiki, or even life coaching, or hypnosis, I can do all of those. So please feel free to contact me. Thank you.